this video we're going to look at rational and irrational numbers. A rational number is a number that can be expressed as a fraction, a over b. And an irrational number is a number that cannot be written as a fraction. So let's have a look at some numbers and see if they're rational or irrational. Okay, so first of all, let's start with pi. Pi is an irrational number. As you may have learned in your maths lessons, it goes on forever without having a, a sort of recurring pattern. Okay, uh, So it's an irrational number. Root 2, if you were to work out the square root of 2 in your calculator, actually let's do it now, square root of 2, is 1.4142135.62 and so on, and it goes on like that. And root 2 is an irrational number, it cannot be written or expressed as a fraction. 0.75, well 0.75, well that's obviously 3 quarters, that can be expressed as a fraction, so that is rational. The square root of 25, the square root of 25 is 5, so therefore it's irrational. However, the square root of 11, if you were to work that out, that's going to be irrational. 0.1212 recurring, on the other hand, some people may think it's irrational because it goes on forever. However, it has a recurring pattern, 121212. There's a video on how to convert recurring decimals into fractions um, on that. Therefore, because it's a recurring decimal, you can write it as a fraction. I've actually used my calculator to help me. and it, It's told me that uh, 0.12 recurring is 4 over 33. Because it can be expressed as a fraction, that is a rational number. Okay. Whole numbers are integers like 5, they're obviously rational, they can be expressed as 5 over 1. You know, 5 would be 5 over 1, or so it can be expressed as a fraction if you wish. Uh, 0, 0 is rational, because it can be expressed as 0 over any number, they can be written as a fraction. Okay, so let's have a look and see some of the things. So, terminating decimals, terminating decimals will be rational, they can be expressed as fractions. Recurring decimals will be rational, they can be expressed as fractions as well. Whole numbers and 0 are rational. Um, Pi is irrational, it goes on forever without a, a pattern. Uh, the square root of square numbers will be rational because you can square root them. And finally, if you want to square root a non-square number, a positive non-square number, you will always get a rational answer. For instance, the square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 6, square root of 7, square root of 8, square root of 10, so on. They're all irrational.